sports fans out there in the Tubosphere, welcome to Gen 3.0 of the OMSR. This is the Vortex Guide. It's designed to keep your attention while I explain a few things about how the good ship sports clip Lollipop on YouTube has sailed. And what that means is, to get anything substantial of any sport event beyond your two and three minute bit clips, there has to be an amalgamation of minimal use with original content. So it's not my first choice to have to do a show on each and every one of these, but the latest cottage industry to sprout up vis-a-vis -vis YouTube are these professional quote-unquote channel builders. We're just a bunch of PAB licensee. What's PAB? You'll figure it out. But it's very easily abused. Some of you may know the third-party content ID system. They say jump and YouTube says how hot. We're not going through that anymore. I've had dealings with them. If you see 15 minutes of bid length, there's not a 15-minute sports highlight reel. But you're still getting in the high single-digit minutes worth of sports. And if it's nine minutes, that factor still remains. So please save the comments for the actual sporting event because... We're bringing you more than you're going to get anywhere else. And it's all covered by the DMCA. Longer shows, we'll cover that uh, after the sporting event. I'll go into a rant about the, these two entities you have to worry about if you're trying to cover especially college sports. And with regard to the promotional bid, give it a chance. It's much shorter than this outline. It's for a product that actually works and is cool, and I think a lot of you guys could use. Beardhead.com has got you set up. And the beauty of it is, at the end of the day, when you're done, whew, boy, you can actually feel those bad boys working with the heat coming off the face. So whether you have a hankering for shoveling snow in a solid city line, which I can certainly attest to, or you spend a day shredding them half pipes freestyle and you're ready for a night on the town, fashionably speaking, or you just want to give those darn paparazzi the ultimate ditch. There's even some styles there for the little ones and the ladies. And all you dudes out there, when time comes, you want to go as your favorite ZZ Top guitars from Back to the Future 3, but you couldn't find the right prop? There's no competition. Beardhead.com. Wait for the promo code. television, I can tell you that it's ten times that when you're standing here in person. It would take nerves of titanium to drop in and hit that monster kicker down there. And that is exactly what Andreas Hogbeit is about to do. So let's send it over to Uncle Lee and Mike Douglas for the start of the event, guys. Thanks, Ramona. Saturday night, big crowd on hand, just like you said, snow falling. They slow the course down a little bit, but the action will heat up for Ski Big Air Round 1. Since the modern day of Big Air, this is the, the fourth annual affair. Bobby Brown took it deep on the first year. Speaking of the man, triples is the story, just like it was last night. Look at this. The crash is. One, two, three. And to his feet, pump. And then check out this something special we call it. Kai Mahler. Mike, break this down for us. Yeah, Kai going for the switch double court. Now watch what he does with his feet. Crosses them up. We call that screaming or the genie. Got to uncross him to get back on the ground and get down safely. So a lot of creativity seen here in practice, which is going to make for one heck of a comp tonight. Last night, this guy, not many guys trained, but Elias Ambula was out there, and he threw down one, two, three, triple cork stomp. So we're going to see some good action tonight. Yet yeah, here's the guys that are capable and have thrown and landed before triples. Elias Ambula, Bobby Brown, and Gus hop on the bus, Kenworthy. Two of them are a little beaten up, but you know, it's the X Games. They kind of just choke it up a little bit, and we're going to see how it goes down. Mike, break down this course description for us. Well, we've got ourselves a world class big air jump. Probably the best one we've ever seen here at the X Games. 75 feet to the knuckle, 37 degrees of the landing. Look for these guys to be flying over 100 feet. TK Hunter with the little GoPro preview. Now, look at, there's this phone dropping out of his pocket on the camera. Doesn't face DK. I don't even think he realized it had happened. Yeah, and watch, 
Watch this. He's got this new app, Mike. It's like, bring my phone back to me right about now. <laughs> how cool is that? Yeah, that shows you how steep that landing is. The phone was only a couple of seconds behind him on that, but a beautiful jump here. It's the snow falling, and there's a look at our lineup. If you watch last night or years past, you know how it works. This is one heat of two, five guys representing four different countries right here, and they get 15 minutes each. And it's the final time. Congratulations to Kelly Clark going three in a row. Now we're going to wind things down, round it up, day number three here with Big Air Final. There's the lineup. Two Swiss, two USA, a Swede, and a Norwegian show up at the Big Air Final. It's not a joke, folks. It's reality. Six of the world's best. A couple of triples thrown in there, but like last night, it's not all about the triples, Mike. There's a little bit more going on here. The pizzazz, technique, break us down how they got here. Well, Elias Ampule kicked it off with the first triple that we saw. Uh, pardon me, the second triple we saw tonight, but Henrik Harlow showing that it's not just about the triple with the nose butter double 1260. Bobby Brown laying down the triple. We knew he was going to bring it out here. And check this out, Alex Slopey with an unprecedented 1980 attempt. That is five and a half rotations of pure ridiculousness. And watch the rotation when he lands. He literally spins out of his ski and went for a whole nother spin on the ground to make it a number that we can't even add up. <laughs> so, his progression here, as always, solid. Now, here's the deal. 145 left. This will be Harlow's second to last jump. What's going to happen here? Harlow will go. There will be just over a minute and a half remaining. Then everybody will get another go. And that will be the final go here of Ski Big Air. Harlow, our current leader, smiling into the booter. There's nose butter up. And yes! Oh, my yes. gosh. Did you that? That is the most insane trick that has ever been done. I think we're going to see a perfect score, Mike. That should get a 60. It is! Perfect score! A 50. Curly at first, and the carrier just got knocked out. Wow. Yeah, that I never thought I would ever see that. And, 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 yeah, we're going we're gonna to take a lot more looks at that in just a bit, but right now, with a minute left, Wunder looking to answer. Here goes Harlow's. Here we look at it. We've got to look at this again. This is unbelievable. The nose butter takes off spinning in to the triple. Two, three, and that was absolutely insane. There goes Mahler. Remember, left knee, A length, winding it up. Oh, my goodness. Switch double missiles. The fire is just thrown, I believe. So many spins. Help me, Dorothy. Look at how close we get in this last one. So Mahler just moved into second place with a 91. And Yule. Now, this is insane. I hope you folks are enjoying this at home. It's happening so fast. We're down to the clock being out. That means Brown, Kenworthy, and our current leader. Uh, and here's what has to happen. Bobby Brown actually can not take the win here. Arlo has the victory because of his 47 and 50. So this is for if Brown, if Brown can land the trick he just attempted, he will likely move up into that second place. But yeah. I'll tell you what, that is no easy task. Can he do it? Two, three. Oh! No. Oh. Tried to get it around, but not much.
everything, pretty much let it right from the get-go, get yeah? Yep. Your champ, Henry Carlo, Haley, from the country of Sweden. Congratulations. Yeah, Andy Rowling! It reminds me of Adam Sandler. <laughs> Congratulations. It's Carvalho with another silver just like last year. And Elias Abiel got a bronze. Here's the two winning jumps. First the 47. Mike, break down how insane these two jumps were. Well, you can't even see it from that camera angle, but the nose butter off the takeoff makes adds a, a degree of difficulty to the, these jumps that, that makes them that much harder than what everyone else is doing. And then he goes and does it with a triple. Triple? And landing switch. So he's taking off sideways. So if you catch your edge, you're going over the falls. You're going to be paying the fiddler. Look at that. Way to go. Just hanging on to it. That is, that is performance right there. Wow. Again, folks, X Games delivery here in Aspen. Unreal. This is uh, uh, officially the first all international photo. No Americans. So sweet. Taking it. Nice job in Switzerland. 2 3. Pat Mallard and Elias. You all miss our brief video highlights courtesy to ESPN, therefore Disney, ABC, ESPN, and its family owned networks. The OMSR does not own these video highlights, but does own all the other original content and the overall concept herein, therefore thereof. Most rights reserved. And also, we adhere to a strict standard the interpretation of the DCMA, Digital Copyright Millennium Act, as these tenants were hashed out through WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization. And these are fair use standard, minimal use, derivatives. You could also throw in on the fourth that no money is exchanged hands because the OMSR is a pro bono production. All right.